What is up, YouTube? Sandy Vapes back here with another review. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the Derringer style RDA. This RDA is really short. It's not the shortest RDA out there. There are some new ones now, but it is immensely short. This is the RDA next to a Petri style um, <coughs> RDA. So, it, it, with the drip tip, it actually comes out to half. Uh, it's a weird angle to try to show you at, but. So, the engravings on the top. Uh, are excellent. They are super deep, super, um, super clean. They're just super, super clean. They almost look better done than the original, in my opinion. Uh, it has an almost, uh, you remember those holographic images on your planners or whatever from school, your agendas, and they, they would squeak or change change photos when you, uh, when you looked at them different ways, or they would squeak when you scratched them. Well, this is kind of like that, too. Uh, which I kind of like, actually. It feels really nice. It feels really nice and machined well. Uh, there's no sharp corners on this sucker. Uh, the airflow control, I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh, you, you just adjust it here. Uh, and I am in dual, dual airflow mode, so that I can adjust here as well. Today, I'll be using one and a half of these holes. Usually, I was rocking it with all three open before. But on 40 watts, uh, for just a mellow vape, it's nice to have... Uh, a little less airflow, maybe a little more of a restricted draw, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, this airflow ring does come off uh, when you want it to. My, like I said, my other one, it would always get stuck when I would pull off my top cap. It would always get stuck in here, and it would either fall out when I would try to put it back or do something, and it was a really big pain. And this one doesn't really do that. Uh, oof. This is the build deck. Um, I'll do an up-close video sometime soon. But this build deck, you actually have some room to build. Uh, I would say you could get about 10 wraps, maybe 12 wraps, 26 gauge wire in here. I have an 8 wrap, 26 gauge canthal, dual coil, 0.3 ohms, I believe, 0.31 ohms uh, at 40 watts on my IPv3LI. Of course, you can't see that. Um, now the airflow, like I said, it was really good. You can get some clouds out of here. You can bump it up to a higher wattage, but it's not something I would recommend. If you want something like that, go with a, go with like a mutation V4 or, or something, something specifically designed with a lot of airflow for cloud chasing. My personal favorite is the Kennedy. Um, for flavor, flavor is good. Flavor is consistent. You're very close to your coils. So the longer your vapor takes to travel from your coils to your drip tip and to your mouth is how much flavor you're losing. The longer it travels, the more flavor you're losing. The more indirect airflow you have, the more flavor you're losing. So if I had a drip tip with airflow on the top like some of the other shorter RDAs out there, I, I would be losing flavor. I would be getting a much airier draw. Now, that being said, I do have a gripe with this RDA. My gripe is very simple. The posts in this RDA do not give you very much wiggle room. It's going to be really hard to see because I have a build in here right now, but there are these flat post holes, and they're very hard to get wire through. Uh, I would imagine 24 gauge is the thickest wire you could get through here, but I could be wrong, and I'm sure someone might co correct me in the comment section below. Uh, this RDA is so good, like I said, I bought, this is the second one, and um, there will be a third, which will be an authentic, hopefully soon. Uh, I would like to replace the drip tip to a black one. I would have liked if I could have gotten a black one, but that's all he had in stock. I'll take it. You can pick up your Derringer style RDA for $25 plus tax at 613 Somerset West in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and that's a vaping story. Go talk to Hoon and he'll hook you up. Uh, if you want the authentic, you can head on down to Clear Sky Vapes, four businesses down to the west. I'm not sure their price on it. I believe it's... Oof, I forget. I was just in there earlier today getting some batteries rewrapped, and uh, 
I forget. I'm sorry. I, w I will put the price below if I can give them a call in time before they close, um, before I upload the video. This thing is great. I love the short trip tip on it. I think regular size 510 trip tips destroy the look of this atomizer, but that's just me. Uh, all the tolerances are excellent. The O-rings fit together perfectly. Everything's great. The juice well is huge. In my other Derringer style, or my Derringer clone, uh, which I also got from the same shop, uh, there were machining marks on the inside. It looked, it didn't have this sort of uh, tactile, grippy finish, which is nice when you're pulling it off, kind of gives you something to grab onto. And this one just seems cleaner. I don't know if he's using a new company or whatever, but if you are looking to pick up or try out a Derringer before you buy an Authentic, etc., that's definitely the place to go check it out. Uh, so on top, like I said, it says Praxis Vapors, Derringer Atomizer, doo doo doo, and um, it's great. It's great. It's a great little flavor joint. I'm going to be using this in a lot of reviews. I know I've used it already in a couple Tasties reviews. And I think it's going to continue to be my RDA of choice for reviewing flavors because it's fantastic. Uh, we can bump this up a little bit in wattage, open up the airflow, and I'll show you how that functions. So now we're on all the way open airflow. We're going to be rocking it at 60 watts. Definitely, definitely, definitely a lot better, a lot more, a lot more vapor. I'm not getting as much flavor, and the spit back is a little bit worse. Actually, it's a lot worse. I don't recommend really hauling on this thing if you've just juiced it or something like that. Um, it is not, it does not have a honeycomb spit back guard in here in the drip tip like on the Royal Hunter Mini or a couple other RDAs out there, but that's fine. Um, as you get used to this atomizer, you slowly, you, you work out where your sweet spot is with your airflow, with your wattage, how hard you're pulling, and it's great. And it's not even like it's that finicky in the first place anyway. Um, Airflow is great. That was uh, that was two holes back down to 40 watts. We're gonna go to one and a half. It's not a loud RDA. I've never had it whistle. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll put the links below where you can pick up yours. And again, guys, if you haven't tried one and you're a flavor chaser, or you want to review some juice, or you you want to use it to try out juice, see if you like the flavor, stuff like that, this is definitely the way to go in my opinion. So hit like if you found this helpful, subscribe if you want to see more hardware and Canadian, primarily Canadian e-juice reviews, and I'll see you next time.